<laughs> right, back again. I'm Vinny. And I'm Gabe. And today, we're not demoing a guitar. Even though this is a very nice FG. <laughs> Which is, again, one of mine. That one is Demon. As it says. On, on the there. headstock. <laughs> the, it's stock. The only thing I've changed on that is I've put in eyelet instead of strap locks because they're cheaper. <laughs> uh, for the actual eyelets, they're like two p each. Um, these carabiners, done. <laughs> that I've actually been the better than strap locks. <laughs> yeah, quite a few people use that. Yeah, uh, Pat, 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 <laughs> My Razorback's got them as well. Oh, it doesn't, it? yeah. The only, the only one that hasn't really got it is the ZV, which has got the Dunlop ones. Because I, I had to go posh on that because it did cost me 300 quid. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, it's now. For ne near than 500 quid if you include the fucking pickups. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah. So, we're not demoing a guitar today, um, doing something we've been planning on doing a while. Um, I said it in one of the other videos, I think it was a Zach Wilde uh, Epiphone video. Uh, we're going to do some pedals. Um, as my pedal boards are rigged up, I'm going to do each one of them individually. Uh, so today, we are doing the Dunlop Zach Wilde Rotor Vibe. Um, it's just a standard rope vibe, it's just done in Zach's colours. So, black bottom, like satin black, it's satin red, matte red base, rather than the gloss one. Typical Zach, um, like his wire pedal, the foot rocker is a, is designed after his hand grinding ones that they sent him. Uh, so it's got like a swirl pattern, and you can actually catch it in that light there. Um, it's like a relic uh, sort of metal control knob, which is your volume, and how, well, how much of the effect comes through uh, your dry signal, so how much wet signal. That's your push for, when it's out it's in vibrato setting, when it's in it's in chorus, uh, your typical well, that's actually called intensity. Um, so it's your intensity control, your instrument input, your amp output, uh, amp input, instrument out. Uh, they tell you what the lights are. Um, unlike his wire, there's no actual adjustment underneath the rocket for the torque. Um, so Gabe's going to run through some tones on the F phone. SGG 400 um, again as usual through the Marshall NG 15 FX carbon fiber um, we're going to start off on the clean tone uh, it's not on nope so this is the dry signal I think it's <laughs> it's turned up I think someone's going on Right, so we're going to run through some sounds with the rotor vibe. Um, we've got it on the clean setting. Um, so Gerb's going to show you the dry tone. Right. So that's our bass sound. And the first setting we're going to be in is the vibrato mode, which is the red LED. So if you switch it on and put it in heel down, you can see, you might be able to see, how slow the light's flashing. Turn the intensity control all the way up. And there's a press down, the light will get faster. Out the way. Yeah. 
<coughs> so that's about halfway cocked. So all the way toe down. Which that's getting strange. into the toe position, into the heel position, sorry, my apologies. now is we'll switch over and you'll see the green LED come on there it is so now we're in chorus mode so we start with the heel down again nice and subtle on acid. <laughs> this is your guitar on drugs. It's still very subtle, it's not over the top of it. See, I actually prefer the chorus setting for that Jimi Hendrix, Robin Trower sort of stuff. Um, he's, he's very much like a Leslie, uh, the old rotating speaker. That's the sort of vibe it gives off anyway, to me, personally. Right, so... What I'll do next is we'll just have a bit of a chat about it and then um, we'll kick it into a gainier setting and we'll go from there. Right, so that was it on the clean setting so you can hear how it works and, and everything like that, the two different effects. Uh, so what are your thoughts on it then, Gerb? Um, well, depending on how much you want of like each, like well, the treble or the chorus, it, it kind of works better than just like a normal, um, you know, like a stomp box. Yeah. Because you can adjust it as you please. Yeah. Which you, I find it quite cool. Yeah, you can dial it into what or you require. As, or what you're doing yeah. as well, right at the time. Because, like, you know, in a live situation, you can just do it and it's right, the wrong speed or yeah. wrong. Rather than getting down and adjusting. <coughs> yeah, yeah. Control knobs. Mm. So, which I think is quite cool. Yeah. Uh, but me, like, I personally, I don't use them, like tremolo or chorus, really. Yeah. It's a lot of fun to mess about with. Yeah, it's, it's a handy little tool to have in the repertoire. The repertoire, yeah. Right, so, um, 
that's our floor, Sony. Um, so what we're going to do next is I've put the pedal on the floor. I'm going to control it with my foot from now. Um, but we've put the amp into the overdrive two channel. Um, so if Gerb wants to give us a dry sound. So that's our bass sound for it. Um, we're going to start off on the vibrato setting again and switching the pedal on now so I'm just going to rock my foot in and out while he's riffing away setting. I'm going to kick the side switch in, which is really handy because you can do it with your foot. We are now going to be in the chorus setting. The pedal's on. So, if you want to take it away, Maestro. on it's more practical. Um, Just a thick enough white. Yeah. Lead bits. See, if you put the pedal back on now. It just adds a bit more of a, as Gerb said, the thickness. It's... It almost doubles the guitar, which is sort of what chorus is for, really. Well, that's, that's how you get, to get like a natural chorus with double guitars yeah. and stuff like more whatever. When you're in the studio or playing live, if there's two of you, you play stuff in sync with each other. Yeah, like a natural chorus sound, but yeah. if you're like the only guitarist, yeah, you, it's quite useful. This is it. I mean, um, personally, I like chorus anyway. Uh, even when I'm so playing nice, with nice, so it's nice on like cleans and stuff really it, it's really good for cleans yeah um, it's uh, personally for myself uh, I find it a very versatile pedal um, I get inspired a lot when I'm playing with that um, when I'm just sat down writing riffs um, if I can't think of anything I'll just stick that pedal on and something will generally come to me 
Um, it's a mainstay on Zach's pedal board. Um, if you want to hear some of the different ways he uses it, on the EMG channel he did a acoustic rendition of his Proud and Glory song, Loving Woman. Um, I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, he uses it a bit on that. Um, he uses it on quite a few things. There's a, a few other players that I know of that use it, but I can't remember the names. Um, it's just a handy piece of kit. Uh, like Gerb say, if you want to change the speed or anything, like the speed of it. The, or or the, the amounts that you want. Yeah, on the fly. I mean, the <coughs> controller on the side for the, intens the intensity control, you can adjust that with your foot. Uh, I'm just doing it now. <laughs> <laughs> and the push button on the side, again, you can knock it in and out with your foot. Um, and then obviously, the speed of each vet is controlled with the rock pedal. Um, so yeah, I think it's a handy pedal to have, even if you just use it for messing about at home with. Uh, the price tag's a bit much for something just messing about at home with. Um, I think for the standard rotor vibe it's just over 200 quid. Uh, this one... Well, not too bad. No, but... If you're not going to use it much, it's it's quite a lot. It's a bit pricey. Um, sometimes we're a bit of a pain to get hold of. This one I ordered from America, um, and it was actually cheaper than a normal rotor. I think I paid, including shipping and tax and everything. I think it came to about 170 quid. Uh, whereas if I ordered the standard rotor from the states, it probably would have come in at, with posting and tax about 250. <laughs> So that's the main reason why I got the Zat Wild one. It's not just because I'm a fanboy. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it does it pretty much the exact same thing as the normal one. It's just to Zach's specs as in the finish. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for it from us doing the demo of it. Yeah. Nice, quick, simple one for you. Um, well, I'll say quick, the video is quite long, but we do waffle on a bit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, we'll leave you with that one. I've been Vinny. I've been Gabe. Peace out. Doodles.